Hello and welcome to my channel. This is day 15 of my 30 day video challenge. I didn't actually make a video yesterday. Uh, lots of reasons for that, but I'm going to make two today to make up for it. So this one is going to be about how to create goals in analytics or the goals that I use at least for my clients. I'm going to be using Google Tag Manager. It's very, very simple, very straightforward, very fast. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up three goals. What we've got here is we've got a email. So if someone clicks on the email there, we've got a phone number. And also on this page here, this click here for the coaching. If somebody books a consultation here, they will go through to a thank you page. And the thank you page is this one here. So we want to track this. So this is very good if you're doing paid advertising to see where your leads are coming from. So I've just built a very simple page just for now. I'm just going to copy that now. Right. So you may wonder, why is this important? Uh, well, this is a key component of my reporting that I do via video uh, to my clients. And you can see in here that this is for the last uh, month. And we are tracking leads. That's how many people fill out a form on the website, how many phone calls they get from mobile devices, and how many people clicked on the email link. So I can separate those out. So that this appears to get to this area here. Just go to acquisition. Come down to, uh, in fact, we'll just go back to home. So we'll start again, show you exactly how to get here. Okay, so come down to acquisition, come down to all traffic and channels. And you'll end up on this page here. And from here, you can actually choose which goal you want to see displayed, or you can have all of them displayed and then break it down via that. So I do this via video, as I mentioned, I just run through each one individually and explain to the clients what we've got. And if you want to, you can sort of do a comparison to the month before and so on and so forth. But you can see with this particular client, our SEO efforts are working very, very well. Uh, you can see organic search, they get 49 conversions a month. The paid advertising is getting 78. Google display, I've actually stopped that campaign. It wasn't very effective for this client and direct it was 30 social media one referral one so this particular client pretty much our main source of leads is always going to be google ads it works extremely well has done so for many many years so that's what we sort of focus on we don't get a lot of conversions off social we don't get a lot of conversions from uh, google display for some reason but there you go okay let's jump uh, back to what we're doing So the first thing we want to do is we want to head over to Google Tag Manager. Now I've just got to block out my clients' names. I hope you don't mind, but this is just for privacy. And what we want to do here is just come up to create. First of all, you need to create an account, obviously, and then you come here to this setting and go create container, and that will load up. Okay, so let's go marketing. Let's just call it MTC Marketing Tools Coaching. We want web and go create. Now that, what that will do is create some code for us, which should show very shortly. And still there it is there. So this is for the head of your page. So if you come over to your blog and just I've loaded a plugin called headers and footers just to make things easy. So come down to settings and go down to insert headers and footers and put the code there and we go back to tag manager and get the bottom body code there and put that in there as well scroll down and save and now our google tag manager is installed okay now the first thing you need to do is you need to come up down to variables click on variables and we are going to be tracking events so we need to get that so it will show in here and we come over to configure and go down to clicks and you want to click element click classes id target url and text now there's nothing to save that will just save automatically but without that we can't track clicks on our website so you've done that we're good to go the first tag we are going to do is google analytics now, I'm not using Analytics 4. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to. I love the old one. So we just 
click on analytics there and we want to go and set up a new variable and this new variable we are going to call oh, can't even select MTC analytics not for hate for <laughs> bad attitude Craig okay now we need a tracking ID so we go over to analytics I'm just going to copy that one there so back to the tag manager now we definitely don't want the bracket there we'll remove that but now we've got a tracking ID so we're going to save that and then we're going to select here we want Google Analytics to show on all pages okay and we're going to save that cool okay so what you can do just to get things going is submit that and just go added uh, Google Analytics submit so now that is uh, live on the site so if we jump back to our site here and do a little refresh go to page source we should be able to find tag manager there she is GTM there it is there okay so we know that's installed properly now I'm going to show you a way to actually test all this live once we've finished so what we want to do in analytics is we want to go over to admin click on admin and you'll end up on this page here so let's just start from the beginning so this is the main page that you will see when you create your account on analytics okay come down to admin come over to the right hand side and click on goals and go new goal so the first one we're going to set up we are going to set up is the thank you page and that is a destination okay so you click on destination go continue and it's equals to this page here so we know that any time every time someone goes through to that page it will be a conversion I'm not worrying about the value I'm not worrying about anything like that and just go save that's our first one done how easy is that so if uh, someone clicks on any of my forms they book a consultation or they make an inquiry it'll end up in the thank you page and that's tracked as a conversion okay let's go to the next one so the next one is we mentioned I mentioned to you that I've now put on I'm going to take these off because they're not really that's just a bogus phone number so we've got a phone number there and we've got a email there okay so I want to track if anybody clicks on these so these are the three things I do for my clients and uh, I'll come to why I do that very shortly so let's go into tag manager here go back to workspace and we want a new tag These are Google Analytics, so we want to go new. And this one here, we want to go uh, mobile. Click on the phone. So clearly, you can only click on a phone number from a mobile device. So we come over to tag, and we want to do Google Analytics. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We want analytics, and we want an event. Okay, now the category is going to be um, a click. And the action is going to be phone number. So you just need to remember these. So click phone number, both of the caps. And we come down here and we want to actually set a new trigger. So we go plus. And this is going to be click on mobile number. Oops. Trigger configuration this is going to be a just link okay so it's going to be a link click and then we want to go that the URL contains TEL two dots okay it makes sense so what's actually happening here is and I'm just going to save that one Oh, I didn't select the variable. My apologies. Okay, so there we go. We've done the variable, so that's what now we're going to save. 
Beautiful. Okay, so what this means is if someone comes on the website on a mobile device, clicks on the phone number, we track that as a conversion. Right. How are we going? We're built. I'm going. I'm trying to go fast. So this is not going to be a long. Oh, that's from before. We'll get rid of that. We definitely put that in. Here it is. There. Right. The next one we want to do is somebody clicking on the email address. Okay. So very similar sort of process. We go new tag and we call this one. Click on email. Come down here. It's going to be Google Analytics again. And this time, select the account. Triggering. New. Click on email. So that can be from a desktop computer or a mobile. It doesn't matter. Just go just links again. Just some links. URL contains mail two with the two dots okay we are done save awesome okay now there is a way to test this out so if you want to um, just preview this make sure it's working you click on preview and it will load up there so we just need to put our website in here Whoa. I've got a little bit of a lag running here. I'm actually recording this with ScreenFlow because I noticed the other day that um, I'll get rid of that uh, now. Yes, I noticed the other day that Screencast Omatic when I'm recording my monitor, which I'm doing here, it was quite blurry. So okay, so what we can do here is if we come down and click on this so what we need to do is just go back to the screen here for some reason they are opening up a new browser which is really annoying they used to actually open up a new tab which was much easier so what you can see here is google analytics the tag has fired okay we have not had any firing yet on the mobile click or click on email so let's go back to our other one so we've got to right click and go back here and we're going to click on my phone click okay let's go back <laughs> and we just had a mobile click that has fired so we know that one's working back we go click on the email address quit back and our email has both gone. Now if you want to actually see more details about these, just click on these and you can get you know, the more details in here. If you're a bit more sophisticated than I am, but we know it's working. All I care about is, is it working? If we go into analytics now, we're going to need to set these things up. So let's do that now. Very simple. Let's go back to admin, go into goals, go new goal, and this is um, a click on mobile a click on phone number okay so we know it's an event okay so click on event then go continue now we our category was click you can see I always use the same ones here and our action I've completely forgotten let's just jump back and find out so it was mobile that we're running here Okay, just give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys, my um, computer's running a little bit slow, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but we can see it's click and phone number. So we need to put that in exactly as it is. So click, and then the action is phone number. And you can see this is what I normally would use. Okay, uh, go save. So that one's done. Okay, we want a new one now. And this is click on email. Let's go event, continue, category is click. And I'm pretty sure I just called it email. Let's find out. Okay, now 
you can see here I've actually made a bit of a, a boo boo this type should be an event okay so I didn't I was trying to rack my brains I didn't actually remember doing it let's go email click on email and we'll need to save that so okay so we come back to analytics this is just as well you check the stuff email save good so those are now done so we have a destination an event an event now pretty much you can track whatever you want these are the three things that I do uh, they're great the other one that I do is click on um, track PDFs that are being downloaded but these essentially are the ones that I'm interested in because they all turn to a lead generally so if someone clicks an email they're making an inquiry if they phone you they're making an inquiry if they end up on the thank you page they have filled out a form on the website so guys that is it for today I just want to make this really short and sweet if you've got any questions about this at all let me know there are a truckload of things you can do I don't want to make this complicated I just want to make it really simple today so that's what I've been, I'm hoping to achieve let me know if you've got any comments about that any questions uh, how do I use that etc and I'm going to do another video today shortly I'm going to tell you about the number one question that I ask a client when I'm pitching for business that has made me a small fortune if I'm being brutally honest it has made me a small fortune so that is what I'm going to talk about today that is yesterday's video done thank you and um, we'll see you soon for day 15 bye